I do look like a meme. New McDonald's items just fill my heart with joy. Look at that. Oh, I missed you. This is the dreaded cleaning cupboard. So nice and fresh. I don't know what they've put in the pollen this year, but it is lethal. That looks like a massive meal. Let's go to the zoo. Woo. I think that's so random that they've got lions and tigers in London. Hello, hello, hello. Did someone say, bring back the weekly vlogs? Bring back the weekly vlogs? Actually, no, no one said that, but here I am. I've missed the weekly vlogs over the past couple of weeks. So, hi, how are ya? Hope you're all good. Let me know in the comments, anything exciting happened? My most exciting thing over the past couple of weeks is seeing Harry Styles last Friday. I can't get over it, I can't stop thinking about it. You know, after you go to a concert, and you just listen to their music non-stop, you look back at all the pictures and the videos, that's been me for an entire weekend. It's Monday and I need to get a grip. I need to stop thinking about Harry Styles, but I just can't help it. <laughs> anyway, back in the real world, I'm at the office this morning. I have just had someone come round and do an aircon service service yeah it's all good it's all working perfect for the hot weather that's coming up i think it's supposed to be really nice weather next week so fingers crossed because it's been a little bit rainy this weekend and the vibes have not been immaculate i'm having harry styles withdrawal symptoms which is bad enough as it is and it's rained how much does the world want me to be in my feels i've actually had a really productive morning though so i've got a launch this friday let me show you because it's a new product so like i said it's meant to be very hot next week and i thought many a month ago when it's hot what do doggies need cool vests how cute so this is the girly one and of course i did a little boy one as well and these are available in five sizes look at this little sea animals adorable these are just the size smalls but basically they're like a breathable mesh and you run it under a cold tap wring out the excess water and put it on your dog and it really helps to instantly cool them down sunny wears a cool vest every summer she has since she was a tiny little puppy and instead of getting her boring old cool vest out again i thought Do you know what let's have a sunny side one with a cute design on it so yeah lots of preparation for the launch of these this week i'm slowly getting through the to-do list but my next job of the day is to take some photos of these to post on instagram tonight to reveal them i'm such a perfectionist look like do i really need to steam these to take an instagram picture of them not really but here i am how cute is this look at the extra small compared to the extra large my brother's dog diesel wears extra large he's a border collie i'll put a picture of him on screen wearing it it's so cute but look at the tiny one i can't even tell you how small this is this is perfect for like little sausage dogs oh my goodness i just love dogs so much i can't cope with how cute this is so from the Sunny hasn't been at the office with me today because my mum was at home with my brother's dog because it's when it's a hot day she takes them both home and they can spend the day in the garden and in the shade and stuff but I've just seen her pull up. I can hear Sunny barking already because she gets so excited when she arrives here and she's about to run up and come and see us. Oh I'm excited to see her. I haven't seen her since well only since about probably nine o'clock this morning. What's the time now? Three o'clock. That's too long for us. We're attached at the hip me and this pup. I'm gonna hide down here. Hello! <laughs> oh, I missed you so much. Oh, oh she was so good. You. I said, We're going to go and see your Hanny at the office now. She, let, she came out for me to put a harness on. Were you excited to see Hanny? What's that? Look, there's your friends. Hi, friends. <laughs> I love you. Yeah, thank you. Lovely kisses. Oh, lovely. Said you got to make room for a self made woman like. Hello again. Right, I'm home. I've chilled for a little while. I've played with Sunny. She's actually still playing in the garden, so sorry if you can hear a squeaky apple. It's flying up and down the grass right now. But I'm actually on dinner duty tonight, and I actually love cooking now. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because I'm turning 25 this summer, or I'm just a fully fledged adult now. Cooking used to scare me, but now I actually enjoy it. So I'm very happy to share with you guys that this section of the vlog is very kindly sponsored by the team over at HelloFresh. My family are big foodies. We love flavor. We love trying new recipes. We love eating fresh food. We've always been a fresh veg, 
home cooked dinners kind of family. And I think that's probably why we fell in love with HelloFresh so quickly from our very first box. It's just so convenient for HelloFresh to plan your meals for you and to not have to go out and buy all the separate ingredients if you want to cook a nice dinner. Every week I am on recipe duty because my family trusts my taste, as they should. It's one of my favorite parts of the week. So this week I've chosen for us the tandoori chicken loaded naan, the cheesy chorizo topped beef enchiladas, and the ultimate chicken satay. These all sound equally as delicious to me, but I think today I'm gonna go for the tandoori chicken loaded naan. There are over 44 recipes to choose from every single week, and your HelloFresh box is delivered straight to your door with all the ingredients in all the quantities you need. You can obviously cater the box to your own diet as well. There are meat recipes, fish, vegetarian options, as well as choosing quick recipes, low calorie, family friendly, the list goes on. Okay, so this is the final result. It looks delicious. I just realized this is actually one of their um, street food recipes, which are some of my favorites. They're always so full of flavor. And just a little side note, I actually use the cooking steps on the HelloFresh app when I'm cooking because they have um, timers, like bake the naan, you can set it for five minutes. It's so easy. That looks like a massive meal. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to manage it all, but you best believe, I will try my best. And if you want to try out HelloFresh, there are no strings attached. You can pause your deliveries or cancel your subscription at any time. It's super flexible. So if you want to eat fresh this summer, this is your sign that now is the time to sign up for your very first HelloFresh box. You can simply scan the QR code on screen just here, or you can use the code TFH60 and you will get 60% off your first HelloFresh box over half price, you heard that right, and 25% off your next eight HelloFresh boxes. Basically, you're not gonna be paying full price for a very long time, my friend. I'll also leave a link in the description down below for you to go and easily check it out. Don't say I don't treat ya. If you are a big foodie like me, I dare you to try out HelloFresh because I know you're gonna be as obsessed as I am. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this vlog. Thank you for making me look forward to cooking. You've changed me as a person. Hello everyone, happy, it's actually Thursday now, it's been a couple of days since I updated you, but I've just got to the office, God it's hot in here, whack the aircon on, ASAP, ASAP Rocky, you can probably hear it in my voice, but since I last spoke to you, I've come down with a cold again, it's so annoying. I'm pretty sure I picked it up when I was in London, seeing Mr. Harry Styles, so definitely worth it. It's just really irritating. But could it be hay fever? I don't know, honestly. In the past couple of days, I've been taking cold and flu tablets. I've been taking, I'm literally prescribed such a strong hay fever tablet from my doctor. So normal Pyroton, I think is four milligrams. My hay fever tablets are 180 milligrams. I'm only supposed to have one a day, but I've been having two or three. <laughs> Not today though, I've only had one today. I think you're only supposed to drive after you've had one because it can make you drowsy, but it just honestly hasn't even touched the sides. That's how bad my hay fever's been. I don't know what they've put in the pollen this year, but it is lethal. Anyway, let me catch you up on Tuesday and Wednesday. So the reason I haven't vlogged is because they've been such laptop heavy days. I'm not even joking, like most of the day has been spent on my laptop. I always forget about that part of a launch until it comes up. I think I like to block it from my memory because it's just me literally wherever I am at home, in my office, here at the office, literally sat there like a little mole rat on my laptop for hours on end. But I'm pretty sure I've finished all the website prep. I'm just looking at my laptop now. I think I've done everything that I need to do for the launch tomorrow now. I make a list on my phone of things to do before a launch, like in the lead up to it and then the day before and then the day of the launch. And I think I'm up to date. I think I'm pretty much there. The prep hasn't actually been as full on as it usually is because there's literally only two products. Obviously there's 10 in total with the 10 sizes, but they're only two different listings so it doesn't actually take well it does take a long time but it doesn't take as long as when it's like a harness collar lead poo bag holder bow tie and they're all separate listings you know that's on next week's agenda <laughs> i'm about to pack some orders and get them ready to take to the post office and i'm also going to give the office a bit of a clean i think not that it's dirty i just feel like i haven't done it properly for a while i'll kind of like wipe over the surfaces as and when i'm gonna open the blinds get some fresh air in here and give the whole place a blitz I've just printed the orders and I do need to get on with actual stuff, but 
I had a really exciting delivery today. It's not actually that exciting, but if you like stationery, it is. I bought some metallic pens on Amazon because basically I may or may not have a matte bag relaunch in a few weeks. Friday after next, I think it will be. And basically for every order, I write their name on an envelope. I put the order slip in, I put a postcard in, a business card, but it all looks nice in a little envelope attached to the matte bag. But I wanted some new pens to write their names. I'm gonna keep this brief because it's not that exciting, but let's try the colors together. When I was little, I would have loved this. Right, this is little pink one. I have high hopes. Oh, she's quite dark. Mm, it's all right. Maybe gold or silver will float my boat more. Gold? Oh, I like the gold. This is really boring. I'm so sorry. Silver? Oh, silver is shiny. I think I like the silver, you know. Blue is pretty, but it doesn't really go with the vibe of the bags. Dark green? Oh, that one's pretty. It's kind of like a sagey green. These are all the colours. Ignore these scribbles. This is like where the office is cold sometimes. Sometimes my pens don't work in the morning, so I have a little bit of paper to scribble the pen at the beginning of each day. Um, but yeah, I think, see like silver's the only one that's like shimmering. I think I'm gonna use silver. Anyway, glad we had that chat. <laughs> I'll link the pens down below in case anyone needs some metallic pens. Instagram this morning what you guys want to see me do in this week's vlog and quite a lot of people have said like businessy related stuff so now I'm thinking maybe I should have actually filmed the past couple of days what I was doing on the website nonsense but anyway this is something businessy I've done this week I designed some new stickers so obviously I have the cool vests launching tomorrow I'm really really excited about it and usually when I pack my orders I, I do present them really nicely if I say so myself so I have my white cardboard boxes which I buy from eBay a lot of people ask me that if you've got a small business I just found ebay is the best place to bulk buy your boxes they arrive so quickly as well i get them from a shop called meg for tech and then i have a customized stamp and on the inside lid of each one before i make them up i stamp them with my logo how cute so it looks like a personalized box but actual custom boxes are so expensive so then i'll usually wrap the product in white tissue paper and secure it with a little sticker normally i secure it with these ones i designed these ones quite a while ago now but they just said let the walkies begin but then i thought like with the cool vest that's not really very appropriate because don't walk your dog when it's hot the cool vest is to keep them cool so i designed these ones just for the cool vest orders your dog is about to look cool literally <laughs> why did i literally think i was the comedy genius doing that jack of many trades whatever that saying is right let's do some cleaning she can be mrs hinch too this is the dreaded cleaning cupboard at the sunnyside office and the reason it's dreaded is because there was once a spider in here and the spider was up there and I put my head in to get something and then I noticed a spider so now I just hate going in this cupboard to be honest but I'm gonna get the whole cleaning box out I think today and give it a really good scrub I'll need the hoover thank you very much I actually wouldn't recommend this hoover it's from Amazon it was really cheap but all the stuff falls out of it when you stop hoovering I feel like there's gonna be spiders behind this tub The office tub of cleaning supplies. First thing I noticed I need to do is clean the sofa because Sunny, bless her, her little muddy paw prints, it doesn't actually look that bad, but it's a little bit grubby. Hey, puppy, you've been a good girl. Come 
that feels so nice and fresh it feels so clean in here the sofa's nice and clean it smells lovely floor is all hoovered everything's wiped down i need to turn off this air con and it's time to go home i'm home i've been editing for a good few hours now it's half past seven but had a little delivery today very excited about this so i bought some new sunglasses I don't really need new sunglasses if I'm being totally honest. I just saw them on ASOS and I liked them. They're from Key Australia and these like narrow sunglasses are really popular at the minute aren't they? But I thought, mm. to be honest I ordered them thinking I'll definitely be sending them back. I'm not going to like them. And then I've tried them on. Stop it. I actually really like them. I mean in the viewfinder I do look like a meme but... I genuinely like them. They've got polarised lenses. I don't know what that means, but it sounded good. I think they're about 60 quid, I don't know, but I like them. And I'm going to wear them on Saturday because I'm going to Foodies Festival in Chelmsford. It's like a food thing, obviously. Sophie Ellis Bex is playing, met her on the dance floor. And I'm going to be wearing these sunnies. They're just a different vibe to my bigger Tiffany ones. These ones are more cool. Tiffany ones are more middle-aged Essex mum. Nothing wrong with either. I like to be both, like Hannah Montana. I'll link these sunnies down below in case you like them. And if you don't like them, well, would you rather your retinas burn in the sun? Morning, everyone. Well, good afternoon, actually. I am, oh my gosh, he's got the goods. I'm at McDonald's because, do you know what? I've not had a McDonald's for ages, but I'm not even justifying myself. They've got two of my favorite things in the world in McDonald's right now. They literally arrived yesterday. So the first being the Caesar chicken and bacon wrap i love caesar salad caesar wraps anything like that so a bit of me um i'm gonna get the crispy one because who honestly gets the grilled one i feel like it's soggy sorry if you get the grilled one but crispy is just superior so i'm gonna get that to try they now also have an iced latte stop it that's game changing normally i would get a caramel iced latte but i don't think mcdonald's are gonna push the boat out that much to be honest and the other thing biscoff mcflurries it's like they've read my brain and said we're gonna add those three things to the menu so that's why i'm here i'm gonna try all of the above although the journey here you know when you have a drive anyone else who drives right you know when you drive somewhere and everything just keeps going wrong there's always obstacles I felt like i was doing my theory test you know when you got to spot the obstacles that was literally me on the way here nothing drastic happened just little bits and bobs everything oh come on come on people nearly at the drive through window now i'm so excited about this wrap i'm starving as well caramel iced frappe is my favorite drink ever though but i'm not going to get it i am going to try the new iced latte because i'm curious the woman in front of me is talking to the drive through lady they're both so essex i literally love them i'm obsessed they're like oh no i don't know if i do want that you know she's like go on treat yourself i love being domestic sometimes hi what can i get for you hello um can i get the caesar crispy wrap please is that a meal? Yes, please. What drink would you like? Um, could I get an iced latte, please? Yep, anything else? Um, yeah, could I get the Biscoff McFlurry as well, please? Yep. That's it, thank you. Lovely, drive around the camping. Thank you. I want to be this lady in front when I'm older. She's driving a Range Rover. She's got the big sunnies on. She's got bleach blonde hair. Oh, and she's got a window open. She could probably hear me. Yeah. She's so cool, I love her. I feel really awkward now. The woman in front also has an air freshener hanging from her um, mirror that says VIP. I'm obsessed with this woman. I love her. She's giving GC vibes to the max. Imagine if it was Gemma Collins. Is that Gemma Collins? Thank, Thank you. you so Thanks much. very much. Right. right, I'm parked up and I actually thought this was genius. There's people watching me vlog, but I don't care. So I knew I was going to get the McFlurry, so I bought a cool bag because I don't want it to melt. Isn't that so clever of me? Little Primark cool bag, don't hurt no one. You can live in there for a moment, my love. It's got ice packs in it as well. I'm prepared, me. I was born to be a mother. Although, guys, we have a slight change of plan. Obviously, I asked for the iced latte and they gave me an iced caramel frappe, which, I mean, is my favourite drink and I wasn't going to change it because, one, it's my favourite and two, I think this is more expensive than an iced latte. So I was like, do you know what? Yeah, that's mine. <laughs> I'll have to try the iced latte another time because for now, the caramel frappe wants to be in my life. Chicken Caesar crispy wrap. Here we go. I have really high hopes for this. New McDonald's items just fill my heart with joy. Cheers. <coughs> it's good. It's nice. I need to text my boyfriend immediately because he will love this. Oh my God, it's got like little 
crispy bits of onion in, I think. That, my friends, is the new best wrap. It rivals the chicken barbecue. I absolutely devoured that embarrassingly quickly. It had lettuce, crispy chicken, crispy onions, bacon, and Caesar sauce in it. Honestly, unreal. No tomato either. <gasps> what dreams are made of. Time for the biscoff. I'm such a loser getting it out of my cool bag. Look at that. Doesn't it look unreal? I'm obsessed with biscoff at the minute. You know what I recently discovered? Kit Kat Chunkies with white chocolate and biscoff. Oh, stop. It's so yum. They're so generous with the amount of biscoff on here as well. Oh, it's got some kind of sauce on it. Is that biscoff sauce? Don't tell me that's biscoff. <coughs> I think it might be caramel sauce with Biscoff biscuits, but it's delicious. 10 out of 10 would recommend all of the above that I've had today. I've had a strong McDonald's order. Right, I'm going to eat this, I'm going to listen to Harry Styles, and then I'm going to make my way home and pretend that the person in the car next to me isn't staring at me. Have a good day. <laughs> oh, I just banged my ankle on my chair as I sat down. You know when you bang like the equivalent of your funny bone but in your ankle? Oh seeing stars right now anyway i'm home and i'm obviously looking very disheveled it's 20 to 6 so the cool vests are launching in 20 minutes i always start to get a little bit nervous at this time i don't know why well obviously because i'm like nervous that no one's gonna care and so much work goes into a launch so much time so much money so much effort and brain capacity goes into every launch it's always a little bit scary but i've done literally everything i can do that's what i tell myself before every launch i'm like i've tried my very best no matter what happens um i've just been editing this vlog as well and i completely forgot right that i have some extra vlog footage so it's a couple of weeks ago now but my best friend leanne and i went down to london zoo for an event i'll tell you all about it in the upcoming clip but basically little evening out let's throw the bestie date in here enjoy hello everyone i'm here with leanne here she is. Oh, what? Our train's cancelled. <laughs> is it? What about Sorry. the next one? The next one's fine. It's not till 36 minutes. I'll have to wait then. Well then, anyway. Sorry to start it like that. Good job we left in plenty of time. Anyway, I'm with Leanne now and tonight we are going to London Zoo, which I'm so excited about. And it's actually... Yeah, well, it's half four at the minute because London Zoo are running this thing through the summer called Zoo Nights. So every Friday, it's adults only and you can go and see the animals at night. There are like different talks about the animals than there would be during the day. There's food trucks and food stalls. I think there's games. But I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. It's just like a fun event thing. Every Friday night at London Zoo and I didn't realise but it's so easy to get to it. It's literally, we've got to get the train into London and then the tube to Camden Town. Town. from Camden it's about 15 minutes to walk to London Zoo so yeah that's what we're doing this evening Bless you. thanks but it's so hot today I'm actually debating leaving my jacket in the car but it's up to you how easily do you get cold really easy oh. I'm gonna bring it I'm okay. gonna bring the jacket okay. anyway right <laughs> let's go to the zoo Woo. Woo. a bit of a running theme at the minute with yeah, us, zoo <laughs> us girl. and vlogging the zoos we love it <laughs> Okay, so we've just arrived. We've got Leanne and her zoo map again. <laughs> We're gonna go and see the animals first because they have bedtimes, how cute. They go to bed at like nine o'clock, I think. What is the yeah, time now? Like, half it's like 20 to seven. So we're gonna go see the animals and then we're gonna do the games and the street food. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm so excited. What animal are you most excited for this time? Oh, I don't know, I haven't looked what they've got here. They've got like tigers and stuff. I think mean, that's so random that they've got lions and tigers in London. His hair has definitely seen better days. Reckon they shed when it's hot or something. Oh yeah, shedding their winter coat, don't blame you mate. I'd be doing the same if I had all that fur. Right, so far we've seen, sorry, Leanne's a bit smaller than me. I'll try and get you in. <laughs> Um, right. We've seen the tigers, there are four tigers, a mum and a dad and two twin boys that are 10 oh, months so old. How cute. cute. It's just so fascinating to watch them yeah. up close. What are we heading to next? I think the reptile house. Reptile house. Leanne's like in charge of the map because I'm I love just, a good map. I'm useless with stuff like this. Obviously I have no sense of direction. It's so weird, we both just said this, to be in a zoo without kids here. Like because obviously yeah. zoos are like family days out, but it's so nice, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> It feels so peaceful. It's quite busy though, like lots of people are here loving it. Oh 
oh my god you can literally walk through the monkey enclosure i don't know if you can hear me because it's like a waterfall down here he said if there's a monkey on the path step to the side oh i can see one up there look we're in the lima enclosure you can like walk through the lemurs as well So we've just got our food. We went for the Greek. We got chicken, I don't know how you pronounce it. Gyros, gyros. Anyway, both got chicken gyros. Um, and we got halloumi fries as well. Don't they look so good? so good? And we're just sat in this bit where there's like, there's all games in here. So we're gonna eat these. And then I reckon play some games, see some more animals, have a good time. So we've just finished eating. How good was that food? So good. We honestly, so good. we demolished it. First up is this game called Sleeping Lions where you have to get through all these cords without ringing the tiny bells that are on each one. Oh gosh, this looks so hard. Here she goes, tell me when you ring it because I can't hear. You've rung it already. Oh, I was gonna really zoom in on the action, but I'm scared. Well, I've done it. Here's Hannah trying not to wake the lions. Oh, I'll bring them on. She will definitely have been eaten at this point. These are my zoom in skills. It's harder than it was. Oh, I'll bring it. <laughs> I ring it. <laughs> will she do it? Did you ring it? No. Oh. Come out of breath. <laughs> Time for dessert. We've gone for churros. I actually suggested getting one each. I'm glad I didn't because look how many are in there. Yum, yum, yum. And we are back to the present day. It was such a lovely evening out, honestly. If you get the chance to go to London Zoo this summer, definitely go on a Friday evening. But anyway my loves, that brings us to the end of this video. I've now got 15 minutes until the launch goes live. I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I always appreciate your feedback. What do you like to see in the vlogs? Do you like business related stuff? Do you like more home life stuff? All feedback is good feedback. Kind of. There's a line. Do subscribe, stick around, join the fam. I want to say a big thank you to HelloFresh for very kindly sponsoring this week's vlog. Don't forget to go and make the most of my discount code. There is a link in the description down below. We had the beef enchiladas last night and let me tell you, they were delicious. But anyway, I hope you have a lovely week next week and I will see you again next Sunday for another little video. Bye guys. Love ya.